previously on Hobo Sailor. We enjoyed the best cup of coffee ever. Watched Asian carp go completely insane. I sang my heart out to Leanne, and we made our way down to Henry, Illinois. I got this. So there's a mouse in your shoe right now. I like mice. Oh. No, 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 <laughs> he threw it right at me. It hit me in the thigh. It hit me in the thigh, Victor. <laughs> Victor is a <laughs> man. I like animals, you guys. I really hope that you got the part where she was actually using the camera as a weapon. <laughs> If our camera still works after Leanne used it as a weapon last night. You guys, snack time? Hobie, you reading a book? It's not with myths. Not, it's not Greek myths? No. Is it Norse myths? Nope. Getting ready to head out, out of Peoria this morning. bent down to the ground and lifted up his huge stone slab. It was almost as big as Thor. Your rock may be large, but you'll have to hit me with it first, groaned Thor, and it began to back away. Never floated down a lock before, that was fun. Probably sleeping. Yeah. Always watching some schoolhouse rock. Yeah. Here we got the autopilot bringing us down the river. 6.8 knots. So, uh, we just published a video not so long ago with you in our basement, kind yeah. of tearing up about some stuff. Yeah. So we're like 14 days into the trip now. Is that it? Uh, that's about it, I think. Well, it's what, the 18th of September and we left on the 3rd? We left on the 2nd. It's the 19th. It's the 19th. So we've been 17 days. Yeah, I guess days. it's over two weeks. That's crazy. So what I really want to ask is the other, you know, somebody posted a comment in that video and they're like, looks like a divorce in the making. I know. So what do you think about that? I oh. Mean, like, oh, no, no, no. I think that person just has zero context on like our history and stuff. Yeah. Like, this isn't our first time around. It's not like I was like, yeah, no. woke up one day and was like, hey, Leanne. Yeah, either leave all your stuff or we're getting divorced. Like, no, no, it's not that well. No, I knew this was coming our whole relationship almost. I mean, you bought you bought your first boat when I was 16 and we had been together for one year. Like, no, we're good. Actually, we celebrated our one year anniversary on that boat. We hadn't even been together one year when you bought that boat. So, uh, you yeah. You got married while living on a boat. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, no, definitely not a divorce in the making. What the fuck? I don't know what that is. It's a log. It's not the biggest log in the world. I wish people would go back to the beginning of your vlog yeah, in 2006. That's a lot of reading. It's, but like, it just, things would make so much more sense. Things would make so much more sense. And then I think about how much I wish we had vlogged our trip to Canada even when we were kids. Like, I thought about trying to write that stuff down, but. I'll have to, yeah, I don't know. I kept a good journal during all of it. That was a really big part of our lives, you know, that like really solidified like what our goals in life were. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cool. Thank you for coming on this trip with me. Hey, you know what else you need to share? You should reshare the boat radio interview. Okay. Because that's a great bio. Look how narrow this gets up here. Is that a red buoy or a green buoy? That looks green. That sure is green. Okay. So I'm going the wrong way here. You want me to build the tower? No! Well, we're at our anchorage for the day. And, uh, yeah, it's very hot. It's very hot, so we've been spraying off of water, at least I have. Without my love for the ocean I would be long gone by now It's some kind of devotion That brings me down That without my love for the ocean I will be no ton of fish out here. It's quiet, it's a quiet night. Really, really calm. There are a million crickets out. It's awesome. It's a clear night. <laughs> 